You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene. the AfterBuzz studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Basketball Wives LA After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Basketball Wives LA After Show. All right, everyone, <laughs> welcome back to the Basketball Wives After Show here at AfterBuzz Studios. Um, we are back for season five, or no, season three, I'm sorry, episode five. I'm one of your hosts, Rebecca Prince, and I'm joined by the two very lovely ladies next to me. Ladies. <laughs> I'm your host, Spicy Mari, joined with your other host. I'm Brooker. Nice to see you. Sheesh, I don't know. I can't talk today. Maybe it's all that green beer for St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. I'm just kidding. Well, getting right into um, this episode of Basketball Wives, I mean, we kind of dealt with the aftermath of, I guess, still the Drea Orlando situation and um, the Malaysia-British fight. That's sort of what we open with. You know, everyone has to go back to the rest of the group and talk about it. And what talk was the Malaysia it. British one again? Well, so last week you were in here. The two of them ended up getting into a confrontation at Jackie's charity event because British said she didn't like Malaysia's dry ass highs. So they got all in each other's face. Shoes were taken off. There's that is so Hand inappropriate at a charity event to take your shoes off. To fight, period, at a charity <laughs> event is inappropriate. But what do the basketball wives know about being appropriate? Uh, so I, I, I feel like Malaysia went back and, of course, recapped the story for Drea. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when she did it, it seemed like as if she was very proud that she stepped to British. And, you know, she was bragging about, oh, you know, I got in her face. And, you know, I wasn't. I feel like, like, I, and I said this before, Malaysia is like the nice one out of the group. Mm -hmm. So she has more to prove than the rest of the basketball wives as far as her toughness is concerned. And so I think that made her feel really good about herself that she stood up to British. Uh, even though there wasn't real fighting going on, I, what did Malaysia call herself? A ready to kill soldier or something? Oh, my gosh. oh God, I forgot what she called herself <laughs> last week. A train to go train killer to go or something. Killer. <laughs> I don't know. British is like the littlest one. She's like a little pipsqueak. And she's yeah. going to pick on her. But she has <laughs> such a crazy mouth on her. And it was it was her like starting drama over nothing. And I have to give it to Malaysia because when she was reenacting the story for, for Drea, she did a perfect imitation of British. Like she sounded exactly <laughs> like her. I was kind of impressed. What yeah. And it was, she didn't fabricate anything. She gave it to Drea straight. Uh, what were they doing? Getting body wraps? Yeah, they were getting... Like the mummy wraps or something? Yeah, these body wraps. And then, you know, you, they put you on a thing. So you exercise, you sweat out more, and it kind of helps shape your body. And oh, okay. Push so out the water weight. Big. <laughs> yeah, well, Dre is anyway. But the thing, uh, you know, the recap moment that kind of caught my attention is when British invited Jackie to her fake office setting and then decided to tell her about the fight. And Jackie really went in on Drea. Like, she's really mad at her for missing her charity event, despite the fact that she told everybody her business. Like Sometimes people just got to handle their shit on their own, and that's it. I, I don't know. Jackie's crazy. Like, she's talking about she's got, she might be 29, 30, but she's got 40, 50 miles, and you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. I mean... Why, who cares what Jackie thinks about any situation? Like, Well, and who is Jackie to be calling Drea a hoe? Like, to me, I just feel like that's a very strong word. If you're going to use that word, you use that word not to people who are your friends, especially. Yeah. You're going to use it on your enemies. And I feel like they're frenemies. It's not a real friendship. I feel like they're frenemies. And that that's putting dubs on it. Okay, I'm not going to lie. Drea does have a reputation on her. Yeah, but we all know <laughs> that. Everybody and she knows that. Owns knows it. It. I think th she knows that and she embraces it and she accepts it. And, you know, let her be, you know, honest and share what she wants to as far as her business is concerned. But it's none of Jackie's business, you know, to be saying, 
she has this many years on her and you know she went and got her a man that you know dressed her up and you know is turning her bathed into this her. yeah like bathe this horrible. dirty girl i thought that was yeah really really rude because no offense the whole time we were watching the show today, we just thought Jackie looked like such a man. <laughs> she is a drag queen and a half. She won RuPaul's competition. <laughs> <laughs> she looked crazy today. And then maybe that's why she looks so crazy is because she does have, like, do these, like, really crazy actions. You know what they say? If you're, you know, beautiful on the inside, you're beautiful on the outside. I don't know. Whatever. But Jackie's so, like, crazy. And I feel like it just projects that you can't even look at her, like how you normally would she just she's been tainted by all this drama she's she creates angry she's an angry woman she's an angry drag queen <laughs> God, there's nothing worse than an angry drag queen oh man well we see that this episode she's trying to start her own business and now she wants to not only be you know the hen mom for all the basketball wives but now she's trying to open up a cognac business as well like Stop, Jackie. Like, doesn't... I mean, I feel like every season Jackie's had some, like, outlandish... You know, what was it last year? Like, a clothing line, and then she writes books, and she's... Like, she's always talking about being a businesswoman. Oh, last year when she was here on our show, she had a single out. Like, <laughs> like you, you can't do it all. I'm sorry. You can't. You will be a jack of all trades and a master of nothing, and that's what she is. Just because you like to drink doesn't mean that you should be pushing your own liquor. <laughs> she couldn't and, even organize the charity event. She and, put everyone else in charge and nothing happened. Exactly. And <laughs> just because you like cognac doesn't mean anyone's going to want to buy your cognac, especially in a creepy man-woman bottle. Who wants to buy a man, a bottle of a man with cognac in it? Where's the hole? So was Where it a drink? man <laughs> bottle and a woman bottle, or a hermaphrodite bottle? No, like she said she... <laughs> Well, you well, know Jackie okay. loves her some LGBT. That's what I was trying to understand. <laughs> I think she wanted like a man and woman like embracing as the bottle. And I just, I mean, the bottle's everything apparently what they said. But even British who's, or, or not British, even Sunday who is, or Sunday. I don't know what her is name is. Sunday is or Sunday. Well, whatever it is. Even she was like, no, Jackie, that's a bad idea. Yeah. We're and leaving that at the door. <laughs> She's crazy. I don't know. I don't know about Jackie. I just feel like she, last episode, you know, or you know, the previous episodes, she was trying to put on that event and now she's trying to start her own business. And every episode I feel like is starting to get more centered, especially this season around Jackie. It's Jackie's friends that are instigating. You know, Jackie is, uh, of course, you know, creating more drama. But I feel like now that the previous members are off the show, it's now cen centered around Jackie and the Jackie drama. See, but I think it was kind of Jackie driven last year, too, because Jackie was, you know, whether it was with Laura and Gloria Govan, like Jackie always seems to be in the middle of the mess. And I just think it's because she can't keep her mouth shut. I mean, she you know. She did not hesitate when they offered a a truce time, a, tr a special little trip that they were planning or trying to figure things out. She did not hesitate. No, but she like <laughs> is going there with the intention to fight these people. And it's it seemed like Sunday was kind of planning this to kind of bring everyone together. But, I mean, obviously we see at the end of the show and in the previews for next week that is not what's going to happen. But I, I just... I don't know, like, do you think, I mean, obviously Jackie's got to be like this in her personal life, too, because she said her daughter hates her. They don't have a great relationship. Obviously, she just doesn't have enough, I mean, despite all the various job titles going on, that she really needs to involve herself in everybody else's drama. And the fact that she's mad at Drea for not attending her charity event, like, why would she come after you drop that bomb on her in front of everybody? Already told everybody and in front of everybody. It's horrible. It's weird. Well, she for a grown any, woman, she doesn't have any loyalty. So, uh, and I'm really surprised that Sunday, 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 <laughs> is trying to orchestrate this whole girls get together when she was one of the other people that was hating on everybody, happy to see everybody miserable, and now she's trying to like sing kumbaya and bring everybody together. I think, but obviously, and I think we sort of see it at the end of the show, I think she has ulterior motives for it. 100%. I mean, she wants to do it and come off as like, she's trying to be the bigger person. She wants the grown-ups to see if the grown-ups can all get along before they bring someone else in. But I think she's definitely going in here. I mean, they had a 10-minute conversation at the pool in Palm Springs about the difference between issue and beef which if you ask me the two are the exact same thing <laughs> yeah. like if you have beef with somebody you have an issue with them yeah i don't i don't understand so you know you're trying to bring everybody together meanwhile you have a beef slash issue with drea or you don't have so one. i it's do understand that that example so you can have an issue with someone that's very easy to address 
and not necessarily want to fight with them you just have an issue to address it's more of how like the it, it being something menial when you have like beef with somebody that means like there is funk and it's just going to hit the fan if we address it in an inappropriate manner like it's a bigger issue it means like we can't get along or we can't stand to be in the same room if we have beef yeah but oh. <laughs> wait guys before we get into our next topic we have to go to a little preview of maria menounos's new reality show chasing maria check it out Tuesdays on Oxygen. I'm Maria Menounos, and my life can get a little crazy. I host Extra. I'm an actor, producer, dancer, wrestler, and a lot of other things. I live with Kevin, my boyfriend of 15 years. Do you really love me? I would say that I'm in serious like. And my parents. Yep, I just said I live with my parents. You drive me crazy. You drive me crazy. My parents want us to get married. You both love each other. Get married. Kevin and I don't. I am going to get married when I want to get married. I think I want kids. Kevin definitely doesn't want them now. This is being pushed on to us. And of course, my parents wanted them yesterday. This year, you got to have it. And I have a house full of people counting on me financially. If I take my eye off the ball, everything can fall apart. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks or wants us to do. It's what we want to do. Everyone thinks that they know what's best for me, but I'm really the only one. I have got to figure things out. Chasing Maria Menounos is so new. Every Tuesday at 10, 9 central, starting March 18, only on Oxygen. Well, make sure you guys tune in tomorrow and check out the premiere of Chasing Maria Menounos. Luckily, I don't think there's going to be any beef or issues on her show. Uh, <laughs> I mean, maybe not. a few issues, but she's a much classier lady. I doubt right. that she would handle no it in fighting. these basketball wives' manners. Um, well, I guess since we kind of beat the, you know, Drea Jackie British Sunday thing to bed, we can talk about um, British's husband, fiance, Lorenzo, having to go overseas. And boy, for someone who comes off so tough, she sure did break down. She did. And he was going exactly the one place that she did not want him to go. <laughs> I feel like there's like a, a deeper story there, an old fling or something that might have happened in Germany that she's worried about. I mean, she did express some insecurity saying that she, the girls there are disrespectful. I don't necessarily know if he messed with somebody there because I feel like she's very hands-on and controlling in their relationship. Mm -hmm. But I think that somebody disrespected her probably while they were there. And she had to check a few women out there. And so she probably knows, you know, he gets a little bit more attention there too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Especially because he can speak the language. That means more women he can pick up on. <laughs> so I think that she's a little bit insecure or intimidated by that. But I feel for her. Finding out that your significant other is leaving the very next day when you thought you had more time to spend with them, that is a little hard pill to swallow. Yeah, but I mean, let's be honest. she They've been together for a while. This isn't his first time going overseas. And my ex-boyfriend, his cousin, played overseas. And literally, like, when it was that time of year, he knew, like, he could get a Any call day. in he could get a call in the morning and have to catch a flight that night. You know, it's just part of the territory. You never know what's going to come up and once you get an offer, you kind of have to jump on it because otherwise there goes your payday, you know, and you're not playing anymore in the states and then what are you going to do? Obviously, Lorenzo isn't that articulate and because he kept comforting saying the exact same thing. <laughs> It'll be all Although, good. <laughs> I appreciate, you know, he was sweet. He seemed genuinely concerned with her feelings, but Boy, he's not a wordsmith. <laughs> <laughs> but she mentioned they were now we're married and it's going to be the first time this is they're going away while they're married. Are they married yet or not? Because I must have missed the wedding. They're not married yet. Um, but she's probably she, talking about the planning of the wedding and everything. And she also says she has to work. But like legit, she brought Jackie to like an office space where you rent a desk. There was nothing on the desk, so obviously she doesn't go there that much. And what is she really working on that she needs to be in L.A.? Obviously filming the show, but it's funny that no one will ever just say, like, I have to stay in L.A. to film the show. Like, it's always got to be, <laughs> I have to stay in L.A. to work, but we don't see anything they're working on ever. And yeah. the meeting did not have to happen in the office. No. Her and, Dr or her and um, oh God, I'm blanking on her Jackie. name. Jackie did not even talk about anything except for all the shit that they could start, and then that's it. Yeah, I thought it was, I thought it was pretty entertaining. <laughs> I don't. know. I just think that they want that best ball wives that you know they want to be taken a little bit more seriously and being you know known as having their own careers outside of their relationships with their husbands or fiancés or boyfriends. And so it probably you know for the show she is acting as if she has a job. Yeah, I get it. 
it's just let's not fake the funk you know like we all we all know what it is this isn't the first time and even if you even if you have a company he's probably funding it which is (laughs) why you're not making any money because you're spending money to not make money to have a job it's like who could lie the best to one up one another yeah and jackie's just pissed because she's the oldest but at least she has a house. And the manliest. <laughs> and the manliest. <laughs> I'm, Jackie is, you know, a trip. She, this episode, she she wasn't so much of a, you know, pot stir as previous episodes. She was kind of, you know, doing more sitting back. But she was definitely getting a little bit more rowdy. You know, she's looking forward to, I think, you know, the Palm Springs trip. And then we start to see them sitting there talking. And um, what's her name? Uh not Bridget. What's the British Brandy Brit- Sunday? British Monica. Brandy Sunday. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> who's the new girl on the show? British Sunday and Brandy. Okay, so Brandy, Brandy. is it Brandy? Brandy's yeah. like the one that we were talking about with the makeup. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, in a few in a few scenes uh, in her confessionals, we were noticing the difference between her makeup. We were saying some makeup is more than others, and she's actually a pretty girl that doesn't need to wear so much makeup, we were commenting. But that's not my point. My point is that she was um, put on the spot, and uh, Jackie tells her, you know, when I go to confront Drea, you better not get in it. You know, if you have more loyalty towards Malaysia, and Sunday, vice versa, you better not get in it if you know stuff hits the floor or whatever with jackie and i just felt like that was kind of like a prelude to the fighting that's going to begin to fuel to the fire yeah like they're already you know planting the seed yeah they're definitely planting the seed i mean i they're just i don't know each other on yeah like nudging 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 why I don't know why you would want to go on a trip away with somebody when there are all these issues sort of up in the air. It doesn't really make sense to me. And I kind of thought Malaysia and Drea were going to be the bigger people and stay back. You know, I appreciate that Sunday didn't invite British to, you know, the girls trip. But at the same time, the two of them, Jackie and Sunday, are going there with the intention of fighting with Drea if she shows up. And she really is. I mean, we're going to see it next week. She's walking into it. And Mm -hmm. It just seems, you know, I can't, I, they know what they're doing. They're contrived. I think that they should have brought British. Like, I understand what Sunday was saying as far as, you know, us older women are going to talk it out and see if we can get along first and then we'll bring the younger girls. But all of you guys are new, you know, and all of you guys are immature. So as far as, you know, picking out or separating someone when you plan on starting drama anyways it's not like you're trying to eliminate drama by not inviting british you're actually going there to stir drama up so you know stop trying to play nice and fair and sweet and consider it when that's not really the case you're about to go off on somebody you're about to throw a drink in somebody's face you're about to do some basketball wives ish i just i hope next week we finally get to the bottom of why like um sunday is so has such issues with drea Mm -hmm. because Since day one that she stepped on, you know, set or whatever, since the first episode we've seen, she's been coming for Drea. I mean, whether it's putting her business as a stripper out there, you know, being right in the the midst of Jackie, spilling the beans that her man is texting Jackie's daughter. It's just like she's always there and she's always coming for her. And I want to know why. Like, why is she yelling at her about figuring out who her baby's father is? Like, why? Where is all this coming from? Because there's, I mean, ever as much as we talk about Jackie being mad that she's older, like, there is part of me that thinks Brit or Sunday is just, like, stuck in that same thing. Mm-hmm. Like, she's mad that there's a new hot chick on the block. It was just selfish. Too bad. It was very selfish of her to say she didn't invite Brandy because that's a, or British. Mm-hmm. It's a distraction, so everyone thinks she's nice. And then she just wiled out. Like, she came, that last scene where she came out of the corner like a bat out of hell. Like, she really <laughs> flew from, like, the corner of the s- ceiling and came down on Drea. Yeah. And, like, Drea should be mad that she's wearing, like, a one-piece velour jumper. Like, she's too old for that. <laughs> <laughs> she is. <laughs> I mean, if we're going to if we're gonna fight about stupid shit, like, let's talk about what you're wearing. Yes. <laughs> you guys are way harsh. And even Drea would be, like, in... A questionable category because when she went to talk with Brandy and Malaysia and they went shopping at that store, she had some crazy like Aladdin genie jumper. She couldn't even sit down she because was all her business open. was out. <laughs> all of them to me dress over the top or under the top if you want to talk about little clothing. But I think that it's just like a reflection of 
where they i think a lot of these women on the show are very immature yeah and not so much ladylike even the older ladies i i feel like they do not carry themselves in a respectable manner but i can't lie and say that if i was put in that position i wouldn't be throwing some drinks in somebody's face either because they talk crazy to each other oh yeah they, i mean they're just disrespectful and it's just funny because I thought being basketball wives was all about like coming together and having like a basketball wives club where you all like get along. And if anybody, you're supposed to like turn your backs and blame like the side chicks that are sitting like, <laughs> you know, at three rows back that you know. That I'm not, like you in the podium upstairs. You're like, oh, that's who you band against, not each other. Yeah, but know. they don't, they'll never understand that. They're still, they were one of those, no matter what any one of them says. They're one of those girls fighting for that position, that yeah. pole position, and they got married. They're that person there, and they're still fighting for the pole position. That's it. And they admitted it too that lot two two episodes ago. They knew. Yeah. They know their husbands do it, and they expect it. It's crazy, crazy world we live in. Basketball wives. <laughs> um, what else really happened with the show? I mean, that was kind of it. Palm Springs looks like it's really yeah. There heat wasn't up. a lot of stuff going on this episode. Yeah, yeah. this was like the setup episode. It's like, okay, guys, we gave you a good one last week. It's kind of sweep the rug clean, and then we'll gear up for some new dirt next week. Yeah, they got they definitely got us because we're gonna. T- I'm for sure gonna tune in for that fight next week. <laughs> it's so funny. I wonder if like Palm Springs gets a discount on like bringing like these reality stars to town to fight because it's like the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills go there and they have a big crazy fight. Now the Basketball Wives are going there. They're having a big crazy fight. I wonder if they're all staying in like the same house. Oh my god, <laughs> maybe it's the house, crazy. <laughs> the reality house. You no, know, they didn't really bring up when British is gonna find out that they all went away without her. Because I feel like that is going to be a huge, huge issue coming up. Oh, that's going to be – that's super shade. But, guys, she probably wouldn't be able to go because she wasn't able to go with her man to Germany because she's working. Oh. You could still do a weekend in the sun. Yeah, who knows? With all close friends. It's definitely (laughs) – it's going to hit the fam, but I don't know. I don't know. I I can't even begin to anticipate what's going to happen next week. I just know it's going to be on. Well, somebody who doesn't need to be fighting is Brandy because she's trying to get pregnant. Mm-hmm. So what we didn't mention was, I guess, how close her and Malaysia have gotten, and that Asia uh, Malaysia is going to be putting, you know, her ass neutral. shots in, yeah. her <laughs> in her now, shots, yeah. right? But these are the good kind of ass shots, the ones that make you pregnant, <laughs> not the ones that make your butt swell, <laughs> not the fake ones. So you know, that's a good thing that she's being proactive. She really wants to have this family, and you know, she's turning to her friends in order to help. Yeah. So and her and her hubby's date night was kind of cute too, even though he. When it was supposed to be a romantic dinner, he just took her to Lexington Social House. And I get it. If you're not from L.A., you don't know what that means. Lexington Social House is, n- is not a romantic spot. It's, it's like It's like a restaurant lounge that then, like, turns into a club, like, late at night. Like, he could have... He could have taken her somewhere nicer. So the, but, uh, the upstairs room at Mr. Chow's was probably open. <laughs> it's Astros, penthouse. I don't know. There's a lot of other options. <laughs> but they seem sweet and they seem cute and like they have a real genuine relationship. And even just in the like banter you hear between the two of them when it was sort of, you know, panning to something else. Look me in the eye. You got to do it over. Like you can tell they have a cute real yeah. relationship. Yeah. Obviously not void of ups and downs, but yeah. solid. There's always going to be ups and downs, I think, with these ladies. I hope she gets pregnant, too. Oh, that'd be cool if she got pregnant on the show. Well, I mean, that's why she's staying in L.A. Yeah, <laughs> so LA. hopefully. How is she has one? They have one child together? Yeah, they have one child, and they're trying for a second one. So, I mean, you know, after the cancer, I think it's hard. But they also didn't address because, you know, she kind of brought it up about him going to see the doctor and Mm -hmm. she was like how did everything go and you know I guess he used some of her videos to freeze his sperm but he didn't say like oh my guys are swimmers like he didn't kind of address he was just like oh yeah we'll freeze it that's our best option for now so I'm curious if it's gonna be twice as difficult because maybe I mean obviously we know she's had issues but if he's also maybe as he's getting older he's having some issues I I think it's a little weird that she made home videos for him to freeze his sperm well, it's sex tapes. So the reason that he's using the, the reason that <laughs> and hey, spicy Mary comes to go. the table. So like every every couple, you know, I haven't uh, had this luxury yet, but every couple does sex tapes, and so that's one thing that you do to spice up your relationship. So if she already has sex tapes, you know on file at the house that's what she's gonna bring so that her husband doesn't have to watch tapes that they have on file of you know big titty hose hop with it so you know i understand why she did that it's kind of like you know here babe you can watch me and jack off to me 
Even yes. though it would have been nice probably for him to see some new, you know, tits and ass bouncing around. He said around. he did, though. He said a 50 <laughs> 50. 50 And she said he did not at the, after that. <laughs> she was like, it was me 100%. <laughs> okay, boo-boo. I just, I get, I mean, I get everybody does different stuff to spice up their things. But in today's day and age, like, to me, the stupidest thing to do is a sex tape. Like, you record that shit on your phone, it's getting leaked. You record that shit and hide it in your house, it's somehow it's getting, getting leaked. It's getting stolen, yeah. You, you put it on your computer, your computer gets stolen going through TSA or something at the airport, and you're screwed. Like, it just... No matter what, unless you have a vault that you can lock that stuff away with, like it doesn't ever it's, make sense. It's still to me. gonna come out. They just have one from Johnny Carson coming out, I think, and he's when he was like seventeen or eighteen or nineteen oh, or something. Oh gosh, so weird. All right, well we actually <laughs> have a caller on the line, so let's patch them through. Hi, I'm Brianna from New York. Hi, Brianna. Hi, Brianna. What do you think of the show tonight? Well, <laughs> it was okay. Yeah, I agree. There wasn't really much going on. What do you think? For, yeah, but huh? they're clearly setting it up for next week. But what do you? What are your thoughts on the new cast members this year? Do you like them? Are you kind of wondering what the hell they're doing? They are annoying. <laughs> they are annoying. I, they are annoying. Like, they do nothing but start stuff. I do not like British. <laughs> I do not like her at all. What like, don't you like about British? Doing stupid stuff, and it's like, why are you mad? Yeah, <laughs> she is mad at the world. <laughs> she does seem to have a chip on her shoulder. What do you yeah. want to? What do you want to see sort of happen from from this season? I mean, do you do you think that everyone's going to be able to sort of mind their own business and get along, or are you hoping for more no. drama and more fights? If they take, if they take Sunday and Jackie and British. <laughs> out then everybody will be like so happy <laughs> i know they are they're kind of a weird group i don't understand why sunday's on the show like what I is her contribution either. she's about to show us next week i think <laughs> she's, she's just like a hater for drea she but, is but she's just not, she's not a basketball wife though and she, they won't even say who she slept with in order to get on the show like at least she, we know Dre is up with, okay, a bunch of athletes and entertainers. Who did, you know, she sleep with? I don't know. We don't know. And that's why even Dre, you know, next week it looks like she sort of takes a jab and says, well, no one's even claiming your kids. So there could be a lot of people, but who knows? And I wonder if they're going to reveal who is claiming Drea's kids. Because we still don't know. You know, Coco Brown speculated, but we weren't, you know, we don't know if it's true or not. Yeah. Well... I don't know if we'll ever learn that, to be perfectly honest. I don't think that's something that she would address on the show anyway. That would be some good juice. <laughs> What's been your favorite part of the show so far? Sorry? I feel that's, like, really nobody's business. Yeah. Whoever the father is, is her and the father's issues. <laughs> what has been your favorite part of the show so far this season? Say that again? What's been your favorite part of the show so far this season? Um... Uh, well, my favorite part, I just like watching what the girls wear. Mm -hmm. Do you like, think they wear the different do, styles that they wear? Do you think they I wear really too much that. makeup? Because we're always in the studio. Huh? I said, do you think the ladies wear too much makeup? Because we're always in the studio talking about their makeup and how they look better a little more natural. And their contacts, their colored yeah, contacts. They do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The only ones who really don't wear too much makeup that I've noticed is Malaysia and Drea. Other than that, everybody else is like... <laughs> Yeah. Well, thanks for tuning in. And, you know, next week, call us back when we see the, all the craziness that's going to happen in Palm Springs. All right. I will. All right. Stay warm in New York. That's my home state. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> she's gone. Bye bye. That was quick. And she's out. <laughs> well, thanks for calling in. We always appreciate callers because we like to know what everybody else is thinking. We're fans of the show, and you guys are fans of the show. So, you know. Um, all right, let's get right into predictions for next week. There's that creepy music. And now, your After Buzz TV predictions. The lights are going. Lights. It's like. So they showed us a little glimpse of the fight that's going to pop off. I think that something happens where um, 
you know, Drea feels a little bit of maybe like remorse or, you know, hey, let's, uh, you know, make up in the middle of the argument with Jackie. And then that's when we see that Sunday's obviously like not the bigger person. Yeah. Um, I don't know how those two get into it, though. Like, what is the set off for it? But you know more than likely Sunday's the one who's going to say something smart that's going to make, you know, Drea get smart back with her. Yeah, well, we know for sure Drea and Sunday are going to fight physically as close as they can get. My prediction is that she also gets into a little shoving match or something with Jackie, and then that's when they decide that it's gone too far and they squash it. But we'll see. What do you think, Brooke? Yeah, I think that they're going to – her and Jackie are going to get into it, but they realize that they have way more going on aside from just what they're battling about Mm -hmm. and that their friendship should over – like supersede that. Yeah. And I think Jackie thinks that Sunday Sunday should come up and do the same thing for whatever she's mad about, which personally I think that it's a mutual dude in the past. I bet you that it is. I bet you like – because she always brings up the strip club thing. I'm wondering if, like, her dude went home with Drea. Like, it has to be something deeper than just, hey, I saw her in the strip club. Or they brought Drea home for a little menage and Drea got more attention than Sunday did. I don't know if I would go – I mean, I don't know if I would go that far because I feel like Drea would hopefully remember that. But it's got to be something. I think she's Drea's trying to take the high road and not say anything about whatever it is she's pissed about. And whenever Sunday says – then she's going to play off that. And hopefully the truth comes out. And then maybe British will go bananas next week, They need too. to drink some, or, some more of that knack. <laughs> the brown liqueur. That co- the cone, cone Jack. Jack. <laughs> I thought Cone Jack was a great, t- a great name, by the cone way. Jack. Why not? Cone Jack. That is actually cute. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, make sure you come back next week. In the meantime, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Rebecca Prince TV. And you guys can play with my Twitter or stroke my Instagram at spicy underscore Madi, S-P-I-C-Y underscore M-A-R-I. And it's Brooker T. You can find me at spit on me, bitch. Love these ladies' <laughs> Twitter handles. And make sure you also tune in tomorrow night to watch Maria Menounos' new show, Chasing Maria Menounos. From executive producers Maria Manunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. 